Breaking news tonight, ISIS is claiming responsibility for the attack at The Ohio State University yesterday, calling the student who plowed his car into pedestrians before the attack, before attacking them with a butcher knife, a quote, soldier of the Islamic State. 11 people were taken to the hospital. The suspect, a Muslim Somali refugee, reportedly posted a message on Facebook prior to the attack expressing anger about the universal treatment of Muslims. Nearly 100,000 Somali refugees have been admitted into this in the United States since 9-11. Joining me now to discuss, Steve Rogers and Jillian Turner. Uh, Jillian, uh, you know, it's, it's one of these things where so many people said, I told you so, it was a central issue uh, during the uh, presidential campaign. Uh, again, someone who's, who's in this country, going to one of our great universities, lashes out and tries to harm Americans. Yeah, you know, ISIS has now claimed responsibility for this individual, as you just pointed out. To me, it seems more likely that he was inspired by al-Shabaab, which is a radical Islamic uh, terrorist organization that's affiliated with al-Qaeda. Um, and has been really preying on the Somali diaspora here inside the United States, particularly in places like Minnesota and Ohio. I think the odds here are that this guy was not a sort of officially affiliated with any of these organizations. He seem, bears all the hallmarks of a, of a wannabe and that we're going to be picking kind of threads here over who he was inspired by, if that makes sense. But here's the bottom line, though. Isn't it becoming harder and harder to identify these folks? I, I mean, what do we do? What does the average person do if you have someone like this and they start to express anger or animosity toward America? Is this when we should spring into action somehow? I'm, again, we're looking for solutions because if it, if it takes a shadowy organization, no matter what the name of it is, to post something on the Internet uh, to, to trigger this sort of action, then we're in trouble as a nation. Absolutely. It's very hard to kind of prevent against people surfing the web, connecting with people who are in parts of parts of the world where terrorist organizations have deep footholds and prevent them reaching out to them and actually communicating. I think that the law enforcement and intelligence communities here in the United States are doing a great job overall of trying to really tamp down on this. But keep in mind, it's a relatively new type of threat in the sense that ISIS as a social media prowess has only been around now a couple of years. So there is still some catch up to do. You know, uh, Steve, uh, you know, a lot of lot of people saying, hey, you know, this is uh, you're discriminating. If you start to uh, point, you know, point out certain people, there are 100,000 uh, Somalis here. Representative King says at least 40 Somali Americans have become ISIS terrorists, and we don't even know about these other organizations. Is it, is it a time to be adult and realistic about how to prevent this and, 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 and admitting that it might need some form uh, of, uh, you know, picking people out based on their religion and other things? Well, yes. Charles, look, there's always the narrative being advanced that we, the Americans, are the bad guys, uh, that we can't uh, take that step further. And maybe when you profile, and it's not racial or religious profiling, it's criminal profiling. And we're going to need to do that whether we like it or not. Look, ISIS said months ago the fighters are here, and all they got to do is give them the execute order, and it's going to happen. Now, this possibly could have happened here. It's still being investigated. <laughs> Sure. But you need to surveil certain areas of the country where there are, unfortunately, in this case, maybe Somali refugees. And you need the NSA data mining because this, I know, is a hot topic. But, you know, you need that in order to help prevent attacks yeah. like this. And, of course, there was a video over the, over the weekend that described this sort of attack. 60,000 people saw it before it was taken down. Thank you both very much. Really appreciate it. President-elect Donald Trump.